Hi, my name is Gareth Collier and welcome to this virtual tour in 2020 of the Nexo facility at Playy, just north of Paris. We have two manufacturing facilities in France. This is our main campus, which houses all of our timber construction, our assembly, our R&D department and engineering support department, along with sales and administration. We have a second facility further south at St. Pierre de Cole, which handles all of our injection moulding. So we'll start today's tour in the main building um, where we will find our main workshop for all of the wooden cabinets and assembly of some of the plastic items. So moving into reception, this is where we'd normally find Alison and she'd be issuing us now with our safety boots. And we're going to make our way through the corridors of Nexo towards the main manufacturing area. And here we are, we find ourselves in the main manufacturing area at Nexo Play E. This is our birch ply awaiting construction of cabinets. It's all sustainably sourced inside the EU. And this wood is all processed via four CNC machines here at Nexo. The first of those takes the full sheets of birch ply and cuts them down into the blanks required to assemble and cut each individual cabinet. We then have two flatbed CNC machines which use these templates in order to accurately cut out all of the component parts and to route out holes for handles and ports for instance. This is all done via a program in the machine written by our R&D engineers and we have two of these machines so that in peak times we can run both simultaneously or in quieter times one can be closed for servicing while the other one still manufactures speakers. And we'll have a quick look inside of one of those flatbed CNC machines. Now when we moved to the P-Series speakers here at Nexo, we introduced curved birch ply into our manufacturing process. So this meant the addition of our fourth CNC machine, which is capable of handling these curved materials with accuracy. Now during the CNC machining process is where we also add the secret compartment for the RFID chips that are included in all Nexo speakers that could be used for stock control and can also be used to combat counterfeit products that we sometimes find in the market. Once the CNC machines have done their job, all of the cabinets are hand assembled. We don't use screws for the main cabinet assembly anymore at Nexo. We use a high pressure gluing system that has two benefits. It increases the rigidity of the cabinet by reducing stress caused by the screws and the glue finish also helps towards sealing the air inside the cabinet and producing a better sound. Once all the cabinets are hand assembled, they then go through a hand finishing process to get over any of the natural defects you may find in a sheet of timber. These are filled and sanded by hand, ready for an automated sanding process which finishes the cabinet to a very exact specification. And here we see our automated sanding robot. This robot uses multiple heads and multiple sanding surfaces to sand and finish all of the cabinets and to add any detailing required. Once the robot has finished with this sanding process, all of the speakers then move on to our paint finishing. This is still sprayed by hand at Nexo and we have two basic paint finishes, black and white, but we also spray in any RAL colour as required. So moving out of the main factory, we're now in a holding area where all of the empty cabinets are held prior to being completely assembled with their drivers, network filters and cables. So moving through this storage area, we'll now move into the assembly area, a lot quieter than the main factory. And here we are in the assembly area. All of the speakers at this point have their filters fitted, cables fitted and drivers and every cabinet that goes through the production line is acoustically tested to make sure it meets the correct specification. Here we have some GOS 12s currently in manufacture for a stadium project. All of the cabinets have been issued a serial number by this point as well which identifies them and the dates they were produced, the batch of components used to produce them and also links to the RFID chip that we talked about earlier. And there's some of our subs ready for testing and then packaging. 
Here are some of our GOM line array modules, just awaiting the front baffles with the drivers to be fitted. A great shot of the honeycomb moulding finish there on the inside of the cabinet. Not all of the plastic cabinets are, are um, completed here at Play. Some of them are actually completed at St Pierre de Cole, including the ID24 and ID14s. Again, subs now waiting for their drivers to be fitted so they can be acoustically tested. As we move to the back of the room, you should be able to hear in the background some testing frequencies going through the RS subs you can see in front of you. These testing frequencies, when they're pumped into the cabinet, are then compared to the original specification as per the design, and every speaker is given a test or fail at this point, and that is logged again it's against its serial number. Moving out of the assembly area, we move into the packaging area. We don't hold any finished speakers here at Play-E. All of the speakers, once they are finished, are packaged up and sent off to our bonded warehouse just by Charles de Gaulle Airport in Paris, ready for dispatch out to our customers. This area also houses the Nexo after sales service and all of the spare parts. We will move back through the factory and move across to the other part of the campus here at Nexo, which is the R&D Centre. And that R&D Centre also houses the engineering support team and our education facilities where we deliver our Audioversity training courses throughout the year. There's some iconic Nexo products, Alpha, PCI and GOT. 45 N12s there on the floor. This is the main R&D office where our engineers not only develop all of the hardware and electronics, but also all of the acoustics. Inside their R&D lab, we have three anechoic chambers, a small chamber for testing and developing drivers. This is our second chamber, which is our destruction chamber. This allows us, with the use of those fire extinguishers, to run speakers to destruction so we know exactly what they're capable of. So when we give you a speaker rating for Nexo, you know it's capable of producing those levels. Our third and most imp impressive anechoic chamber is this one. It allows us to monitor frequencies down to 28 hertz. And as you can see, it's truly massive. It's a very strange feeling when you're in this room and they close the door behind you. All you can hear is the sound of the blood running through your ears. It's a very, very strange and slightly unsettling experience. So we'll move away from this anechoic chamber now and we'll move into the area used by engineering support and R&D, not only for testing and developing products, but also for carrying out the many demonstrations that we hold during the year for Nexo users and Nexo customers. There's some amp racks loaded up and ready to use. We also carry out rigging training in this room for the Audioversity courses. Now moving out into the Nexo field, um, we have a 10 metre tall tower fitted with eight electric winches which allows us to deploy any combination of Nexo speakers that we want to for a customer, either for a demonstration or for a system setup exercise. This field gives us 35 metres between the hanging point and the front of house position and 40 metres back to the hedge. This really does give anybody the chance to test a Nexo speaker system in a real world scenario, just as though they were outdoors doing a festival live in the summer. So that's it for this short tour of Nexo in 2020. Don't forget, once the current situation has passed, if you would like to arrange a visit to Nexo, we run multiple trips during the year. And if you would like to come and visit us here, we'd be happy to welcome you. And all you need to do is to contact your local distributor or your local Nexo sales representative, and they will be able to arrange something for you. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you for visiting us here at Play-E, and we look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care. Goodbye.